Good day. Welcome to Fresh Manna Ministries, hosted by Reverend Dr. Alan G. Jenkins, Jr., and yours truly, Benjamina Jenkins, and a host of pastors, evangelists, teachers, ministers, prayer warriors, and partners. Together, we are on a mission to encourage, equip, and strengthen the body of Christ and to win lost souls for the kingdom of heaven. Good morning. I want to thank God and Pastors Allen and Benjamina Jenkins for allowing me to preach from the Fresh Man of Ministry this morning from this platform. I love it. Uh, and I want to thank my church family, my family, and all my friends and everyone that took the time to call in to support me and hear a word from the Lord. I would like to say that this sermon today is dedicated to Pastor uh, Allen Jenkins and Benjamina and also my beloved grandmother who pushed me into a point of putting God first in my life. So let me pray, and then I will get right into the word for you. Heavenly Father, you are the strong tower in my life. Lord, we welcome you to this line this morning, and we ask that you have your way. I am asking for you to strengthen my spirit this morning so I will be bold when speaking of your greatness. Guide my heart to speak truth at all times and empty this vessel of self and fill me with your word, your love, and your Holy Spirit. So, Lord, this morning I had decided uh to write about walking in the light of the spirit. And as the scriptures were read before you, first John one, uh one through ten, that's where my text was taken from. To walk in God's light is to live a life that is governed by the word of God and guided by the Spirit of God. It is to share his character and to walk in righteousness and purity. Since God is light, walking in the light is walking with God, abiding in Jesus Christ and obeying the word. When we walk in the light, we experience joy and peace as opposed to anxiety and depression in the darkness. Walking in the light has nothing to do with perfect behavior and everything to do with being known as a true Christian. Walking in the light means that we are willing to be known for who we really are even in our sins. And it doesn't mean we are perfect, just that we have Stop hiding from people. See, Jesus, he is the light, and he made everyone aware of their weakness and their helplessness when we live without God. But everyone who gets close to the Lord are made aware of how we must decrease in our spirit and allow God to increase in our hearts. Jesus is the light. He revealed the love of God to ordinary people in an extraordinary way. And without the love of Jesus, many religious people would not know the best ways to express love to one another. In John chapter 14, verse 21, Jesus said, He who has my commandments and keep them. He, it is who loves me, and I will love him and manifest my love to him. The Lord loves you. The good news is that we actually can be known for who we really are because our acceptance is not based on our performance. It's based on God's love for us. Walking in the light of the Spirit isn't something you have to work up to. Because it isn't about becoming awesome or perfect in your life. It's simply about letting reality be known. Coming into the light, willing to be seen, willing to be known as a Christian. 
But there's some times when we walk in the darkness. So when we walk in the darkness, that means we are still hiding, pretending, putting on airs, attempting to be seen in a certain way, presenting an image that doesn't reflect the inner realities of our hearts. Walking in darkness is the result of submitting to shame. It means we think we cannot afford to be known for who we really are because we fear rejection, punishment, and abandonment. Appearance is everything for those who are walking in darkness. Listen, that's selfish living. In John, the 12th chapter, verse 35, so Jesus said to them, the light is among you for a little while longer. Walk while you have the light, lest darkness will overtake you. Remember, the one who walks in darkness does not know where he is going. Darkness helps keep out our reality, and it keeps it all hidden. As we keep reality hidden because we fear that we need to perform well to be accepted. So we try to appear better than we actually are in an attempt to find acceptance and a value from God and other people. But ironically, it never works because the only way to actually walk with God is to walk with him in the light. Jesus used his ministry as a light in the darkness to disclose the true nature of God. In everything that Jesus did, he revealed more of the character, the purpose, and the mission of his heavenly Father. Jesus used his ministry of light to expose sin. The Savior came to show the world how miserable they were trapped in a life of sin. The Lord beamed his light to those who lived in the darkness and ignorance to the internal consequences of sin. But listen, the good shepherd came to lead his sheep out of self-destructive tendencies of our sinful human nature. Let's talk about how the blood fits in. The blood of Jesus purifies us from all sin so we can come into the light. We can stay there and we can walk in the light because when we notice sin, we don't hide it or pretend it isn't there. We simply give it to Jesus and his blood purifies us from it, healing us as we walk with others in the light of the spirit of his presence. First John 1 verse 7, but if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Another scripture, John chapter 8 verse 12 says, again, Jesus spoke to them saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. That's a familiar scripture for a lot of people, and it's real. See, Jesus' light gives us supernatural wisdom and knowledge. And thanks to Jesus, believers have the advantage of seeing things that non-Christians will never understand or appreciate. Go to Matthew chapter 11, verse 25. The Lord's light illuminated truth to believers that afforded them limitless advantages. Everybody knows that favor ain't fair. Jesus used his ministry of light to brighten the path towards success. Wherever Jesus went, he gave people hope for a better way. Christ's light gave them greater clarity to see through the hypocrisy of their religious leaders. Everybody that preach ain't true. Jesus' light provided crystal clear perspectives about truth, about love and grace in a day when the Pharisees had camouflaged it. Jesus used his ministry to provide a way to heaven. Everyone wants to escape 
the internal tribulation of hell, and Jesus' light spotlighted the path for you. No more do people have to wonder where they will spend eternity because of the light that enlightens every heart. Walk in the light of the Spirit. When we enter into an uh, intimate heart relationship with God through faith and in his Son, he becomes our heart's greatest desire. Knowing him, hearing his voice, sharing our hearts with him, and seeking to please him become our consuming focus. He becomes everything to us. He becomes your home you live in, your food on your table, the clothes that you wear. Listen, the medicine that you take, he's everything. He's in everything that we do. The goal of every Christian should be to live in a state of unbroken worship. This is only possible when we walk in the light of the Spirit with God. Meeting with him is not an act. Activity reserved for just Sunday morning. I'll say that again. Meeting with him is not an activity reserved just for Sunday morning. And that means just going to church on Sunday, you are there with the saints and you're having a good time. And the moment you when Monday comes, you put God back in that Sunday pocketbook and you go ahead on about your business. See, when we walk in the light of the spirit, we must find that the sinful appetites of the flesh have no more dominion over us. When we walk with God every day, the world, world cannot have help but recognize that in spite of our imperfections and lack of knowledge, in some areas, we have been with Jesus Christ. Believers have the indwelling spirit of Christ, the comforter who proceeds from the Father. Believers are to submit to the will of God and walk in the light of the spirit. The Holy Spirit assists believers in prayer, and he intercedes for God's people in accordance with the will of God. He also leads the believers into righteousness, and he produces his fruit in through those yield to him. Walking in the light of the Spirit means we consider Jesus as the light in the world, and we walk in the light by following his precepts, living in his power, and growing in his grace. Go back to Matthew for one more scripture. Matthew 5, uh, chapter 5, verse 16. In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in the heavens. See, those who walk in the light of the Spirit are united with him and are the bearers of the fruit of the that the Spirit produces. Those who walk in the light of the Spirit walk in self-control. They display moderation, constraint, and the ability to say no to the flesh. And those who walk in the light of the Spirit Walk in patience. They are known for having a long fuse and do not lose their temper. And then as those who walk in the light of the Spirit in peace, their lives are not defined by worry or anxiety. We got to have self-control. We got to have patience. We have to have peace. Jesus is the light that provided the perfect example of one who walked in the light and the Spirit. Let your entire being give a reflection of the true attributes of God. No one will ever have to wonder how to find the will of God if they follow the footprints of Jesus. God is making us accountable for the way we live as Christians. The Lord is always concerned with how we manage our lives and how we treat the people around us. Christ's life, his words, and his ministry provides a blueprint for how we should construct 
our lifestyle. We must read the Bible. Read the Bible. Listen, and I'm almost done. When we believe in and live in the righteousness of God, it is powerful, and it's a motivation to godliness. There are no secrets with God. Our lives are open book to him. Christ is coming again not only as a savior but also to judge. God will bring to light the hidden things in darkness and reveal the counsels of the heart. God loves you and wants you to communicate with him. When you pray, you can feel his love. So those who walk in the light of the Spirit walk in goodness. Their actions reflect virtue and holiness. Those who walk in the light of the Spirit walk in kindness. They show tender concern for the needs of others. Those who walk in the light of the Spirit walk in gentleness. Their lives are characterized by humility, grace, and thankfulness. Those who walk in the light of the Spirit walk in joy. They exhibit gladness, what God has done and is doing and will do. Those who walk in the light of the Spirit walk in love. They live in love for God and for their fellow men. And those who walk in the light of the Spirit walk in faithfulness. They are steadfast in their trust of God and his word. Those who walk in the light and the Spirit follow the Spirit's lead. To walk in the light of the Spirit is to be filled with the Holy Spirit. We must continue to do what God would have us to do and allow the Holy Spirit to guide our lives. Yes, in 1 John 1 and 7, we know that God cleansed us from our sin. So we must be faithful to God and ourselves to live a Christian life and grow in faith in God and learn to worship him. Jesus is light giving insight into our future blessings. And those who walk in the Lord, in the light of the Spirit, in his word, are given greater insight into what great blessings the Lord has in store for you. So those who walk in the Spirit must walk in the light. And in Jesus' name, I thank you. And I pray this morning that I've blessed you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for listening. Join us next time and remember to subscribe. Fresh Manna Ministries. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Number 6, verse 24 to 26. God bless you. Have a great day.